So hey there everybody. I have another painting that I'm going to do on top of a glass that goes in a picture frame. So I did the acrylic swipe on a 4x6 or 5x7 picture glass out of a frame and it's dried for multiple days. I've cleaned it off with dish Dawn degreasing liquid, dish liquid and let it dry really well and so and now I'm painting in some yellow wildflowers on top of it and people said I didn't know that you could paint on glass but yes why can't you um, it's going to be sealed and it's going to be put back in the frame and it's going to sit on a tabletop or be hung on a wall so there's not really much chance of any scratching to take place and like I said, you are going to seal it, which will give it that glossy finish again. And then um, you should be good to go to be able to swipe it down for dusting and anything like that. So I'm just, what I am doing is because it's a darker background, I am putting in a base coat of almost white, but you know, it's really kind of a pale yellow. But anytime you have a vivid background with color you need to kind of start with a white base or something extremely light and build up your colors because um, if I were to go ahead and try to paint in a bright yellow over this deep green and navy blue it would take um, quite a lot of layers of that yellow to do that so that's why I always start with a really pale yellow or a white for the base coat and if you need to speed up the process you can just by even blow drying it which uh, often times I will do that just to speed up the process and then once it's dry I uh, blow dry it again and make sure it's nice and dry and then I'm going to seal it as soon as I finish it you don't have to wait for days or weeks for it to cure or anything like that and as you see, I'm using the dryer here, and it's very powerful, so I have to hold down anything that might fly away during the process. And I don't recall if I'm using any particular brands of paint. I probably just use mixed brands of paint. And um, I have a preference usually for Arteza or something with a little bit more body to it like uh, Liquitex or Art Artist Loft in the tubes but I you know I've many times used Deco Art because Deco Art is a thinner craft paint in a bottle and it will dry a little bit quicker than two paints will which helps to speed up the process of the painting So I'm just going to uh, get busy painting here and let you watch and I'm going to speed through the process a little bit.
So I have finished up the painting with all the fine detail and since it is painted on glass uh, it will be pretty protected in that frame either sitting on a table or hanging but because I did use acrylics on top of the poured painting and there might be some change in the sheen between the flowers and the swipe I always just dry it really good with a blow dryer and then I take Liquitex high gloss varnish and put a coat over everything and I happen to have poured my Menwax polyacrylic into a Liquitex high gloss varnish bottle. I didn't have high gloss varnish from Liquitex at the time but I had an empty bottle and I poured the quart of poly uh, polyacrylic by Menwax into the high gloss varnish Liquitex bottle so I don't want it to fool you there but I did write Menwax on the bottle so it is Menwax polyacrylic which is similar to Liquitex high gloss varnish. The, the Liquitex is a little bit more watery and my preference, my number one choice, but I use Minwax polyacrylic as a very close second. So um, I just wipe it on with a half inch or so soft bristol paintbrush and um, typically I use a sponge brush for larger paintings but because this is only 4x6 or 5x7